<laughs> oh, that was great. Alrighty, and welcome back to another episode of My Mailman Hates Me with Alicia and myself, Alex. Uh, we have, we're in a different setting. We have dogs walking around so you'll hear the, hear the nails. And we also got the light situation, which, eh, we'll work through it. Uh, we are doing a tea box subscription called Sips Buy. Yep. Um, it's a brand new subscription box. Um, we actually got this box for free by using the code SIPS TOGETHER. Um, so we're going to try it out. Um, Alex does not like hot tea. I do not. So I think we don't know. I broke the seal on it so we could get in here without shaking a table and ruining the entire shot. Um, we're going to open this, tell you what's in this box, and then we are going to take a break. You can probably hear I've got water boiling in the background. I've got a tea kettle on. We're going to steep the tea. And then we are going to... Smell that. Smell like cardboard to me. Or... <laughs> well, no, with it open. You shut it. So we're, anyway, we're going to steep the tea, and then we're going to make Alex try all of these. I'll try them as well. But I actually like hot tea and don't really like iced tea, so we're backwards. He does like iced tea. He doesn't like hot tea. I keep telling him that's because he's never had any very good hot tea. Um, it actually... Sorry, I've already... Oh, it was made for Alicia. Show, well, show him the top of it. That's really sweet. Yeah. This is made for Alicia. Awesome, because yeah. you do fill out a questionnaire and let them know what kind of teas you like, um, what you don't like. For instance, I tend towards black teas and not green teas. Um, and so they ask you those kind of questions. And they also ask if you'd be open to other teas, trying them at least, and I think I said yes. Um, I also said I prefer the heavily caffeinated teas, which probably isn't healthy, but it's honest to God the truth. <laughs> so so the other nice thing about this is it gives you how to do it. Like the first one is a s'mores chai tea, which actually sounds kind of good. He tried to tell me today when we were sniffing candles, because that's what we do, um, that he didn't like chai tea. Yeah, I just don't like chai tea. We'll but it's like, what is that? TSP tablespoon. <laughs> I teaspoon. Can, I can never remember my measurements. Tablespoon has a. I'm surprised I passed my cooking classes. Uh, but yeah, it's one teaspoon per eight ounce of water. You do it for 200 degrees Fahrenheit, and you steep it for four to five minutes. So that's nice that it tells you like how to do it. Um, um, so let's find the s'mores. And it tells you the caffeine level. So like this one's medium caffeine, the s'mores. Okay. Whichever see. one. Like I've heard about this too. So some you get both loose tea and um, um, tea packets. And uh, tea packets. So they also send. Uh, I better go check the tea kettle. Just a minute. But they also send. Yeah, it's overflowing. Just, it's just <laughs> it's water. overflowing. It, it'll be fine. It's just water. all over. It's just water. It's but I found the water. s'mores. Did you good? Good. Talk about the s'mores, Alex. Talk about the s'mores. Oh, uh, let's see here. So. And it comes in a nice little package, which kind of hit the light weird, but it's like a nice silvery package. Uh, 450 milliliters or 16 ounces of, did I say 450? I'm at 475 or 16 ounces of water, one to two perfect spoons, uh, medium caffeine ingredients. I want to know what it smells like. Go ahead and open it. We can talk about what it smells like and then talk about what it tastes like later. I'm sorry, I have a glass top electric stove, so nothing is going horribly wrong if the kettle overboils. It's just making a lot of bad sounds now. What's the smell? It smells like tea, but it also kind of smells like s'more. Oh, that smells good. Oh my gosh. Okay, I know I don't like chai, but this might be a chai. He's though. never had good chai tea. Like, you need to go to a really good Indian restaurant and have chai tea, dude. You will be floored. That smells so good. Mm -hmm. And you can kind of smell the caffeine in it. Mm -hmm. Did you tell them the description? Yeah, it just... Oh, wait. the Oh, like on the card. Yeah. Gooey toasted marshmallows, graham crackers, and rich dark chocolate. S'more season is here. Hallelujah! Um, <laughs> oh, I don't even know what that is. What is that? Uh, I don't know. This blend, just skip the word. Just yeah, skip the word. So this blend is rich and, and warming. Try a latte style in your favorite big mug. 
I don't have my favorite big mug because I never bought my favorite big mug. I do have a really good big mug coming from Globe in here soon. Nice. All right. So that's our first tea. There's four teas in here. Um, and you told them how much, how big the packet was, how many ounces? Uh. Or not? Or does it not say? Four ounce bag. Point four ounce. Point four. Tw 12 grams. Okay. So that's, that's our first tea. Now, sadly, the other ones I won't be able to open because they're all like tiny little. They're bags. Yeah. So, um. Are we supposed to have a bunch of the same ones? Yeah, there's, I think there's supposed to, usually about four of each in a box. So there's four different types, and I think usually about four servings of each type. So which one? Just tell us which one you'd like next, and we can go to that. Uh, whatever this one is, or? That is, uh, I'm probably going to say this wrong, Rubibos and Cinnamon, R-O-O-I-B-U-S, and Cinnamon. It is... Um, one bag per eight ounces of water. I said steep for five minutes at 212 degrees. <laughs> this one is actually caffeine free. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> I will drink caffeine free tea though. Um, it's an Ahmed tea uh, it's from the British family business with a long tradition. They supply tea for the royal collection, including Buckingham Palace. Oh, um, interesting. Yes. I wonder if this is the black gunpowder. Probably, because I can't see the white Christmas. So the black gunpowder, that's also kind of a loose tea. It's in a bag, but it's not a bag you steep, I think. So loose uh, black gunpowder uh, made of tea. It is a high caffeine one. Mm, probably like the gunpowder. This is one and a half teaspoons per eight ounces and steep for four minutes at 208 degrees. Very specific. Yeah, uh, you can re-steep. You can re-steep it two times. That means it's kind of um, also known as black pearls. This aromat aromatic, full-bodied black tea is carefully hand-processed by tea experts in the fusion. Hi, Benford. Fujian Province, China. That sounds wrong. Hi, this yes. is Finford. This is the monster we've talked about in the other My Mailman he Hates Me videos. videos. She's just making an appearance since we haven't locked ourselves in a room. Yeah, he, this is the monster we talked about during Christmas when he tore apart the toys. toys. Yes, and hopefully we'll have those videos up soon. So that, that meet your orange monster. That's our orange <laughs> monster. And our last one is called White, White Christmas. Christmas. And it looks like there's four bags of that as well. White tea. The block. block. Yeah, this is low caffeine. Wah, wah. It's caffeine. So, Take it or leave it. <laughs> one bag for eight ounces and steep for three to four minutes at 170 to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, it says you'll be dreaming of sleigh rides when you enjoy an enchanting cup of this holiday infusion. White tea is blended with refreshing Pacific Northwest peppermint and ginger root. Okay. So I think we are going to go ahead and pause the video now, and we're going to come back with some full mugs of tea. Very true. We will be back shortly. Okay, which one do you want to start with then? We, if we're moving that, we can start with s'mores, white Christmas, or the cinnamon, cinnamon, the cinnamon one. I don't cinnamon. like cinnamon. So we should probably do that first. All right, so we're going to try the cinnamon one first. Which one is uh, the cinnamon one, let's see, it's one with a tag, it's one with the tea bags. That, is that the cin it says on it if it is. Yeah. Yes. So if you want to take that out, you can just move it there. I know you don't like cinnamon, so I'm going to actually suggest that maybe you just take a spoon and try a little on a spoon first. So. Oh yeah, that, yeah, that's definitely cinnamon, all right. All right. Um, so. Here we go. This one has rubus leaves and cinnamon bark. And I'm pronouncing the first ingredient wrong, I'm sure. Do this without spilling. Okay, the cinnamon's not as strong as I thought it would be. Okay. If anything, I don't taste anything. <laughs> That happens sometimes with tea. Yeah, I just I don't know, taste anything. I'll, I'll do this since it's actually very hot. Still. 
These just came off of being steeped. In fact, some of them are still steeping. Don't spill. No pressure. Oh, that's nice. Do you taste something? It's not a very flavorful tea. Yeah, I taste something. Uh, um, it, just, it just tasted like water. No, definitely there is a, a kind of a black tea background taste. I can taste a little bit of cinnamon. Um, and probably this rubus leaf. I'm sorry, I, I like tea guys, but I'm not like in a tea aficionado, so. Um, it's actually a little sweeter. We've got a dog kind of surfing in the kitchen. It's actually a little sweeter. I would actually probably put a little bit of milk in with it if I were to drink it. What if we throw in some sugar and just start that in real quick? Apparently Benford just drink it straight. But, um, you want to try some sugar in it? We need like a stir stick. Oh, give me a clean spoon, dude. We got a pile of clean spoons. That's true. That's why I got them. So, um, I, yeah. we actually, I just went to get sugar and milk and my husband left town and he's a milk drinker. I'm not. So, so what, did he just chug whatever you had? Probably. I just didn't buy more before he left. I buy milk when I need to cook with it, bake with it. That's about it. We've got a puppy calamity going on in our household. All right, so. Let's see how it is with some sugar. Okay, now it's just sweet, sweet water. Well, yeah, it was sweet before. It was a sweeter tea, so. It just tastes like water. It tastes like really sweet water now. You're right. Yeah. Congratulations, we ruined it. All right, so overall thoughts on this. I didn't mind it. I thought it was a perfectly good tea. Okay. It gets a, it gets a negative point for me for being caffeine free, but I suppose I do sometimes drink like cam chamomile sleepy tea time mixes before bed. So I could definitely drink these then. Um, <clears throat> I don't really want to drink it now that we put the sugar in it, but and Alex doesn't like it, but that was our first one. Uh, Alex, famous. I think this was a no for Alex. Yeah. All right. I'm willing to bet these will be no's unless one of these is really good. I think you'll like the s'mores one. Uh, is that this one? Mm, yes, that is this one. You want to try the s'mores one next? Why does that actually look like it has marshmallows? It's just whatever's floating in it. Uh, this has white peppermint, or excuse me, white tea, peppermint, and ginger root in it. Mm. No? No. No? No. It's the ginger root. No. Oh, yeah, you kind of don't like ginger either, do you? That is a no for me, Chief. Oh, that's good. All right. I'm taking this one. All right. Okay. So, well, you had a worse reaction than that than the cinnamon one. Well, the cinnamon one just tasted like water. There's like no cinnamon to it. I mean, you smell the bag, you can smell the cinnamon, but... Oh, I lied. That's actually not what was in this. I'm sorry. The s'mores was uh, brittle tea pieces, including hazel hazelnut, pura tea, cinnamon sugar, marshmallow chocolate chips, and flavoring. So I'm sorry. That's what we just drank. I read the white Christmas one because in my brain, s'mores and white Christmas mean, just mean the same one. So this is the white Christmas, which is the white tea, the peppermint, and ginger root. So this didn't have any ginger root in it. There's something in that that I didn't like. Probably the tea. Probably, <laughs> probably the tea. That, leave it to the godforsaken tea. Oh, now I'm to big boy spoons. I can already tell I'm not going to like this. Suck it up. What do you think? No? I can taste the peppermint, but... Do you think we can make it better? What's that ginger root, man? It's the ginger root. <laughs> it's the ginger root. It was a ginger root in the last one, which didn't have any ginger root as well. Well, I think it was like whatever that weird tea was that was in it. But no, that one is for sure the ginger root. But I... I can taste ginger root. I like this one too. Well, then you can have that one. Okay. And now we're right. to the Mac Daddy of the Teas. This one's in my, I've got to show everybody my, my cup. This is Abigail Adams. Ian bought it for me when he was in Boston one time because 
I'm a fan of strong women, and for her day and age, she was an extremely strong woman. Yes. I support it. All right. So, Abigail, are we gonna like let's let's see the gunpowder tea? This is called black gunpowder, and it is black tea from the Fujian province in. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. F I J I A N province in China. It is a high caffeine tea. Fujian. Fujian. Fujian, maybe. Fujian. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I don't speak Chinese. I don't know. I don't speak any of the dialects of Chinese, which are actually separate languages with a common picture alphabet. It was brilliant on the part of China's emperor to implement that, by the way. But that's just a little side note for you. You can do it! Alright, try the gunpowder. Ooh, that's a lot. The Mac Daddy of teas. It's a straight black tea. Without spilling. You think we could chill that one? Because that one wouldn't Wouldn't be... that probably taste like an iced tea for you? Yeah, that would. That would taste like an iced tea that's for That's probably... Me. That's what iced tea is. That one would taste like an iced tea for me. That's... Right. Uh, I'm I'm actually for black, black gunpowder. Of all of these, you like the one that isn't flavored. Awesome. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's Hold on. I think... You go ahead. I think there's an illegal item for the puppies. Great. So this is a traditional black tea. I would probably use milk and sugar in this or milk and some sort of sweetener. I actually use honey a lot in teas. I've got this great hemp honey. Um, lemon honey is awesome. It's from Colorado. Um, this box would have been $15 for essentially 16 servings of tea. That's not bad. Is it? No, let's, how much is in a normal box of tea? Which is usually only like say five or six bucks. Probably about 16 servings. Hang on, let me get out a box of tea that's not Yeah, I was gonna say, don't you have a box of tea? So, but I mean, these are like different teas. So like the teas may vary in price, you know? Yeah, um, I mean, some of these might be nicer teas. You're absolutely right. So that could, um, you know, weigh on. Yeah. Um, I got that so gun. this is probably a normal sized box of tea and there's 1.9 ounces in here. So 20 servings come in this. Um, that's that? Gigolo, no idea. Um, and this is a larger box of Sleepy Time Tea, which I think was probably at least $10. And I probably got it on clearance. I think I got it when Lucky's was going out of business. Mm. Um, we had a Lucky's market, great grocery store. No one it, shopped at it in Iowa City. It tragically closed. Yeah, Even though they place. had great trivia night. They had, a, they had a great trivia night. And $2 beer. All of their beers were $2. They were all craft beers for the most part. And they all rotated. So whether or not this is worth it for you, um, I don't think Alex is going to become a tea drinker anytime soon. No, I, I just like. I will I just, send. I will send the rest of the gunpowder with you, and you can take it home and use it for iced tea. Yeah, you know, I just don't have a way to, you know, not have stuff floating. I'll send you home with some of those tea bags. Yeah. And then just make tea like this, I and mean, then just chill it. That's going to be the big question. Were these teas really worth $15? I mean, maybe if I knew, like... It's the stash tea, what, Fort Bet tea bags were probably not worth, you know. I'm sure the s'mores one, with it being more of a festive one, and that might... That's by David's Tea. David's Tea. David's Tea. David's Tea. Yeah. It just depends how you read it. David's Tea. Um, David Stee. David Stee, and that was this one. <laughs> I like this one. It does kind of t actually. Okay, I like it, but I'm gonna kind of say it, it tastes a little bit like someone made hot chocolate and then filled the empty mug up with water <laughs> and drank it again. It's like a very weak s'mores taste. Oh, that, that was hair that was attached to my head. No, that's good. Um, so <laughs> I guess Alex definitely isn't gonna want to do this again. 
Um, sometimes when you get I mean, these free ones, you're obligated to get another month. They certainly won't object if I get another month of tea, um, but I don't think it's something, unless I find out like this gunpowder black tea was like made with like gold flakes in it or something that I'll, I'm necessarily feeling was worth the money. I don't know, I like the, the, the gunpowder. The gun it just powder. tastes like an actual... Iced tea, iced tea. <laughs> Our dogs are playing outside. No, they're oh. inside. Oh, they're inside? Yeah, but they're just in the living room. Oh, I thought, I thought they were just outside the back door. Small house. <laughs> is he? Oh, okay. I was, it's a piece of tea. I was like, do you have dog hair in it? Because in our house, dog hair is both a condiment and a fashion accessory. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I, I saw that on a dish towel. So. Oh. <laughs> All right, this uh, this video is definitely going to hell in a handbasket, so I think it's time we say goodbye to you. Thank you for watching. Please, if you like our craziness and our hound dogs, please like and subscribe. And click the bell icon if you want the notifications for when we right. upload. Thank you. Okay, okay, Benny. Thank you so much for sticking this out with us. We'll see you later.